Hi Pisces, it is Thursday, May 23rd today, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages show up for you today, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? I'm going to shuffle two more times, Pisces. Let's connect, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? The first card you have is the Two of Coins. And then you have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. And the Four of Coins. The Queen of Cups, this is you, Pisces. The Six of Swords. And then you have Death, Scorpio energy. The Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Coins in this deck. And then you have the Two of Wands. The Eight of Wands. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands. And there you are again, the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Something here that you're manifesting. You're waiting for it, waiting for it to happen, waiting for this ship to come in. Let's clarify Pisces and see what's going on. There it is right there, the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this is that you're waiting for, Pisces. Um you could have felt like giving up on it. Hold on, I want to grab this certain deck, these ones. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now? Pisces. Pisces. I see you having a really good day. Like you're going to have a really good day soon. The first card you have there is you have the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? There's some old energy that's moving away from you, Pisces, and you're entering into... Um, a new phase here. Why is the two of pentacles here? See, look, see, look, look at this. The sun, Leo energy, and you have the three of cups. I'm seeing you making some type of a decision, um, Pisces. There's some really really good good energy coming in here all right you're going from the two of pentacles which is i'm not sure what to do um from having to juggle and trying to keep up to some clarity of mind coming in here with the with the sun and with the three of cups here there's um 
Like everybody's happy. These are people in your energy here. And I'm seeing the sun shining on these people in your energy. Which it makes Pisces happy actually. Because there you are right there. The Queen of Cups. You're, you're sitting in your own energy here. You're not showing up um, like you're... Like you're not being able to sit in that kind, loving, generous energy that you love so much. I see you love to make other people happy. And with the sun and the three of cups, I'm seeing you making some type of a decision here. And <laughs> it makes everyone happy around you. You have the the Emperor next, which is Aries energy. The Devil Capricorn energy. And you have the Nine of Swords. It looks like you were trying to control a situation here in the past, Pisces. And so it left you in your mind and in your head with the Nine of Swords. I'm kind of looking... Um, right here at something that you could be in this energy right now where you're worried about something and you, you're actually creating a toxic energy here with the devil with all of this worrying and having a hard time sleeping and um, overthinking something, trying to control someone or people around you in your energy but there i see you having an epiphany moment a realization here that literally makes everyone happy and it brings this happiness into your into your energy i really really like it i'm not sure what you're doing let me see why the devil is here why is the devil it whatever you were trying to control it was holding you back Page of Wands, and then you have the Ten of Cups to clarify this devil energy. Yeah, I really feel like with this energy here, the Four of Pentacles and the devil, you were holding on to... On to something that you believed in your head that turned into a toxic energy it's something that you were doing Pisces because you're you're over worried here with the nine of swords overthinking something and there's a new plan here with the page of wands and the ten of cups where I'm seeing this ten of cups this is happy home happy family the sun is shining here everyone's happy all right and it has to do with you letting go of so i kind of have to call you guys out on this reading it's like you were trying to control other people um instead of just backing off and letting things go with the flow you were trying to control the flow and you couldn't hold back the force but now I see you going with the flow here and it's everything's working out better or it will be very soon. Why is the three of pentacles here? The two of pentacles. The high priestess. There you are again. And you have the lovers Gemini energy. This is you coming out of your head and actually building and creating something here. Moving from the Two of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. So there's something here that I'm seeing that you're working on, Pisces. And your, um, your focus is on that. See, it's like Pisces has made a decision. 
You have decisions all around you, Pisces. The lovers talks about a decision. The two of pentacles is a decision. And here you sit in the center. There's something here that that is being revealed to you and it's it's coming to you on your own through your subconscious mind with the high priestess here and i'm seeing you making this decision to i want to say like i feel like i could put it in better words but i'm not sure how other than to say i'm seeing you backing away from trying to control a situation trying to take charge of it and standing back and using um using your mind instead of your back in this situation all right because there is a complicated situation here and um i feel like you may have decided to give something up and just focus on something else and so there's this this energy here with the three of pentacles it's like you're rebuilding um you're actually creating some type of foundation for yourself here why is the queen of cups here the seven of wands the four of wands and the seven of swords tell me about the seven of swords you have taurus energy here with the hierophant and then you have the ace of swords you, i feel like you know some of you may feel like the people that are around you they're not very smart and so it's like you're having to you're having to think through things do you have a higher level of commitment than to dip down into trying to figure out what someone else is up to or someone else is doing and so your higher level of commitment here with the hierophant is bringing in an epiphany moment a realization that it's time for you to back off and um to stop feeling defensive around this energy of home family happily ever after the seven of swords is here so you're not really throwing out as many as much information okay you're kind of keeping just saying what needs to be said keeping things simple and moving ahead moving forward i don't see anyone lying to you right here i see here that you're or you lying to anyone directly i just see you keeping things to yourself like not revealing all not talking too much and that's the type of energy where that is moving you into calmer water here where you're actually going with the flow instead of fighting against the flow tell me why the six of swords is here and i'm hearing you catch more bees with honey than with vinegar so there's the eight of wands someone is moving not all of you but someone here is moving i see that and i see a conversation taking place here like the eight of wands is here which is a conversation taking place and next to it you have the knight of cups so you're moving into this this energy um with the honey with the cup of honey instead of the cup of vinegar and the situation that you have here is you have this eight of wands this is a lot of energy coming at you it's a lot to deal with a lot of different situations a lot of different red tape and you're handling it in this knight of cups energy like one thing at a time these wands are separated and um each thing will be accomplished one at a time 
as you move forward because you're crossing over a borderline here which is why death is showing up next you can even see the movement right here there's a lot of move, movement in the center of your reading here successful movement forward and there's something here that's coming to an end i think i told you guys that is scorpio energy but there's something here where um that is coming to an end and it's an end of a rough period which is it feels really good to me because you guys' energy has been feeling like you've been in rocky water lately okay so let's see what's going on here as we clarify the death card you have the ace of cups and you have the knight of swords Tell me what the Ace of Cups is, Spirits. Why is the Ace of Cups here? See, you're wanting to... You're wanting to build this King of Pentacles energy, Pisces, which is your grounding, your stability here. There's a lot of pentacles here that are talking about that. But I feel like while you're building this security, this King of Pentacles, where you can sit back and, um, and reap your rewards, like financial gain is where you're going to get that is by coming out of your mind and stopping the over worrying what's coming to an end with the death card with the two of swords you were thinking of every as you were trying to make a decision which is where we started this reading you're going back and forth here with the two of swords what's coming to an end is the energy here of you thinking of every worst possible scenario all right as you were thinking of the new energy that you're trying to bring in to let something come to an end you were making things worse in your mind of the possible outcomes because there's something here that seemed great but you were um and it's an energy of something that you loved, okay? It could be a home. It could be a marriage. I'm seeing both. I see a family here. I see the sun shining down. I see love. But there's something here that kept you in this Knight of Swords energy where you've been racing all over the place and feeling stuck in your mind because you were thinking of the worst possibilities. And this knight of swords is someone who's acting without thinking things through but um that's coming to an end and there's a new beginning coming here and the ace of cups is here now and i'm seeing aces here like as if there's an epiphany moment a realization the sun is here <coughs> of how you can actually gain gain and grow and i don't see we have the nine of pentacles next but i don't see you kicking anybody out of your life here some of you might be this is a single energy but there's something here about you singly single-mindedly the high priestess has showed up a couple times <coughs> just backing away from a situation that seems really difficult here and um moving into your own space with the nine of pentacles so that you can move forward hold on you guys let me just grab a drink I 
I'm sorry about that. I should remember to bring a drink before I start the reading. But I'm seeing you, like this reading right here is offering you advice. It's what spirits are doing is they're trying to give you a piece of advice. If, if this hasn't already occurred to you, because something's going to be revealed to you here. It's very clear to me. And it's some type of knowledge where you've been in a state of fear and you kind of let fear take over the way you did that where you you were trying to control other people in your life maybe without even knowing it but I see you backing away from that energy here tell me why the nine of pentacles is here See, look, there's people that you have history with. One may be very significant, but I keep seeing you handing the cup of honey instead of sour grapes or something. And it's, it's allowing you the space to back up. And instead of using all of your mind trying to control these other energies around you, you're using your mind and your energy here on some type of business or something. But I feel like you're giving direction to other people in your energy here. And it's making them happy. It's like you're giving them some type of direction here. Tell me why the Two of Wands is here. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. You didn't see this coming, Pisces. I have the moon on the bottom of the deck. Pisces Cancer energy. But as I'm looking into the future here, I'm seeing um, like a new beginning happening between you and someone else here. The Wheel of Fortune is here. But this is free will. That's why spirits are showing you this this two ways you can go down this two of wands a pathway here you have the wheel of fortune so there's someone here where the ace of pentacles is here where there will be a renewal a beginning again of this connection after some type of an ending or argument and a lot of communication going back and forth Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. The Tower. Tell me about the Tower. The Eight of Cups. And the Chariot Cancer Energy. Spirits, give me one more card for the tower. Ten of Swords. Mm. Something here in your life, Pisces, is going to hit you by surprise. All right, with the tower moment, I don't know if it has anything to do with this connection right here. I'm going to clarify this connection because this looks like there's some type of reconciliation happening here. And then right afterwards, there seems to be a tower moment and ten of swords, like something ending. All right. And you moving forward and walking away. So is this a karmic cycle? I don't know. Let me clarify this connection right here because something's going to happen with that tower moment and I don't know what it is yet. Spirits, tell me about the Two of Cups. Four of Cups. The Moon. I 
I, you know, I would be careful about this connection. It just keeps showing up for you guys. There's someone here that you're connecting with. This may be a marriage, a family member here. But there's something hidden in the shadows, all right, with the moon. And, um... It's almost like you're ignoring it like you don't want to see it like you don't want to see some type of red flag but before we move on here I want spirits to be more specific about your tower moment coming in so be careful not to ignore red flags in a certain connection um, at the beginning of this reading I'm seeing three people all right, so this might be a card of children or friends, all right, or a celebration. But there's a separate energy showing up here with this Two of Cups. There's like a connection here, like a love connection that is concerning to me. And I want to figure out what this is because something's going to happen really, really fast okay and it's something that you don't have any control over it keeps showing up as the ten of pentacles this might actually be something good Let me shuffle one more time, Pisces. I feel like this might be something good. Just Pisces need to know about this tower and the Eight of Wands. Seeing you receiving some type of messages or you may be traveling unexpectedly. Tell me why the Tower and the Eight of Wands is here. Someone here is going to be traveling. The Four of Pentacles and then you have the Seven of Wands. You have some type of financial gain coming in, Pisces. And it's going to come in faster than what you think. Like, you might be holding on to your money right now with this Four of Pentacles energy. You may feel defensive. You may be waiting for messages to come in about a new job or something that has to do with your finances. And I'm seeing here that, that you're going to be rewarded in some way financially. All right. Let me move over here to the Three of Wands. There's something here that just didn't work out. And I see you moving away from it. All right. There's something here that, that you wanted to work out. It didn't work out. And, um... So, you're moving away from that energy. Tell me why the Three of Wands is here. We're going over here to the outside looking in. Why is the Three of Wands here? You have Justice and you have the Page of, page of Wands. Libra energy of Justice and you have the Page of Wands. You're going to receive some type of justice, alright? Something happened where um, you were done wrong and you're waiting for your justice. You've been waiting for your justice. You could have been done wrong in love. All right, we have Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. 
Tell me, tell me about this messenger. You have someone watching you right now, Pisces. This is a different lover than what's showing up in your energy right now. Um, the lovers is Gemini energy, but you have you have someone watching you right now that you're not aware of them watching you. They're watching you secretly. This is a uh, someone that you know someone that's not around you right now i feel like it's a past energy i feel like this person's at a distance tell me why the three of wands is here this might be a cancer the chariot is here and the nine of wands someone it it may come as a surprise to you because um someone that you know um, looks like they could be moving to your area like they're going through some type of struggle or difficult time tell me what this movement is with the chariot yeah you got someone who's coming back around again from the past could be a Capricorn you have the devil showing up you have judgment and you have the two pentacles here there's someone here that wants to come back into your life. They're watching you and they're not sure how to come back into your life. But I, I, I'm not sure how they're able to see you. If they're looking at your Facebook or how they see you. But this person's looking for information. Tell me... I see someone here looking at your pictures. Tell me why the High Priestess is here. See, look. Look at the messages coming in. This is what was throwing me off, is there's a third energy here. There's someone here that wants to talk to you. They want to make things right. They want to bring justice. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. And... The Six of Wands is here. You're going to hear from someone who used to be in your life. And some time could have went by since you've seen this person. This could have been someone you were married to that you shared a home with. Um, this person's feeling a lot of regret here. They're receiving karma for doing you wrong in some way. All right, you guys, let me lift up these cards. That reading kind of had a surprise ending there. But I see you, you'll be choosing between two because I see two people in your energy and it's like, like there's a choice between two people, a decision. Someone's coming out of hermit mode. Could be a Virgo. The first card you have is talk less, feel more. Quarter, Last quarter moon in Pisces. This is advice and this is exactly what I saw happening in your energy as we started out your reading. Where you're kind of backing away from trying to control situations or... You may even not even realize you're trying to control other people around you, feeling like you're being done wrong by overthinking. And that's why spirits are telling you to talk less, feel more, pull the energy back into yourself and your focus, which is something to do with the pentacles, your money, your stability. Next card you have is speak your world into being. And this is first quarter moon in Gemini. It's time for you to really focus on yourself, Pisces, and what you're trying to manifest here. Because you've even showed up as a magician in your energy here. And it's very important right now that you speak your world into being. I think daily affirmations are very important for you. And then you have new moon and Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. 
in order to speak this manifestation into your reality um, you need to focus on the positive I wanted to I just I really want you guys to um, to focus on your own happiness and as you do this it's like as if you're creating this energy around you of other people around you it's like they're it, they're feeling this happiness from your son it's like you are the sun you are the light and in the life of the people around you it's like you really have a huge effect on your family your friends your mood and the way you act it affects them in such a huge way pisces but i love you guys thank you so much for being here and thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe and for your donations to the channel and take care of you today pisces um Thank you, Janine, for my beautiful angel that I'm wearing. Um, take care of you today, Pisces, and we'll meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.